But here thing, what we have to observe is, this is the client and server. What we are transmitting here? While transmitting, we are transmitting one packet of data. Means simply we are transmitting here one byte. Simply, this setting is one byte. So, what? This is one byte actual data. But uh, for every packet, as we mentioned, that header should be there. In this case, TCP header should be there. Assume that TCP header is 20 bytes long. So here what we have to observe is, out of total data you are transmitting, out of total data we are transmitting, here only one day, one byte is useful. How much data, by how much amount of data is useful actually. All these things are assistance to reach the destination properly and to reach the destination in a proper manner. In what way you send it, if you transfer text data, it should be reached to the destination as a text data. Because ultimately in the communication, every data is same. Every data is in the waveform. So when it reaches to the destination, it should be in the same format, it should be reachable. It should be reached to the destination. So, for that purpose, all these headers we are adding. So, in that case, headers is not actual data. The data which is in data part, that is right thing. So, that is useful thing. Now, here out of total 21 bytes of data, 21 bytes of transmitted um, this uh, packet, only one byte is useful. So, now you see how much amount of data actually used. So this situation we are calling as silly window syndrome. This situation we are calling as silly window syndrome. Actually for there are three reasons for silly window syndrome. There are three reasons are there for this silly window syndrome to happen. First one is when server when server announces its window its window is Window space, its window space is empty. Okay, this is simply like in earlier case what we see. Whenever server space is empty in the window in receiver side, so obviously you are going to set the window size as one in the sender side. So this is the one of the reason whatever we see earlier. And in the second one is if suppose client is able to transmit only one byte in this case also there may be chance here client is able to transfer only one byte then next one is when server consumes only one one byte at a time. Consumes only one byte at a time. If suppose server is consuming only one byte, accordingly you have to set the receiver size, that window size. So in these three cases, there may be chance of happening silly window syndrome. Hope you got at the end, any reason, we, we are going to set receive, uh, sender's window size as 1, ultimately. So that is, that is leading to this problem, silly window syndrome. So hope you got.
this advertise this is all something about advertising window hope you got main idea of uh, advertising window to um, to control the flow in the tct and at the same time this uh, advertising window we are using for this techniques to stop the infinite uh, waiting thank you